Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon and Sagittarius Rising Weekly Tarot Reading June 25th to July 1st 2018. So four cards spread, now the first one that shows up Sagittarius is topic of the week that is going to be um, temperance. Then we do have the core of the situation here with the page of uh, wands. Then is the challenges for Sagittarius that is going to be the Ten of Cups. And last but not least we do have the Guidance which is the King of Swords. So what happens here Sagittarius for you is that we don't have any people that you need to deal with. These uh, court cards here they are your standpoints. Or rather your personalities. So uh, the, these couple of cards here that we do have the, uh, the topic of the situation and the core of the situation this points that you are going to find a, a different approach toward either your projects into your career or toward either your situations into your relationships approach, uh, approaches and strategies with which you will be able to deal much more easily with the stuff that have annoyed you so far into it so it's kind of like combining the differences guys it's kind of like let me give you an example here uh, uh, let's say that your partner into your relationship is annoying you with something uh, quite a lot recently and even if you raise your voice about it and even if you say uh, they, they don't change their behavior so what happens here is that you are finding on your own a, a right approach or, or a, a new strategy how to deal with that annoying enterprise that comes from your partner and it stops bothers you from now on moving on forward into the future nonetheless the page of wands points that this week you're going to be more open for everything new that comes in your in your way because throughout your newfound strategy of dealing with the things which annoys you you're going to uh, recognize yourself or realize that you are much stronger stronger than you think you were until now and that will give you quite of an, an ability here ability pointed by the temperance that you will be much more humble with others in a sense of that uh, you know even though you don't accept other people's opinion uh, that that will not be a prerequisite for you to fight with them it is just uh, their fate will not be your concern so you will be at such a standpoint here with the king of swords staying as a guidance that if someone stays if someone doesn't stay in your path for good or bad they're not your concern and that will be or their fate is not your concern and that is a very positive standpoint because you will have the time and you will have the energy to rather focus on the things which are making you miserable and to traverse those things of making you happy that is displayed here by the Ten of Cups. So you will put quite of a devotion to change things, you know, uh, toward a, a positive way, either into your career or either into your relationship by changing your strategy of approach toward those things, which is a, a quite of a, a good thing. Temperance points here as a topic of the week that you're going to face much more compassion, much more solidarity because you will be the one who also gives compassion and solidarity. Not to mention that these, that these two cards are pointing toward a, a healing of a passion. So a healing of a passion, let me point you, uh, let me give you an example here so I can make it more understandable. Um, <clears throat> This is a healing of not being capable to execute a certain um, a certain enter enterprise of yours, and now you're finding something as a replacement of it. All right, or at least you are recognizing that it would have not worth it. That is what I mean under healing of a passion. And uh, uh, this week is very positive for you in general because uh, throughout that particular standpoint of being much more humble and much more uh, and and filled with solidarity is going to also allow you to make some um, accurate diagnosis of the situations around you. Not to mention that in case you are single here with the King of Swords, you will become much more enthralling for some people around you by taking that different standpoint. They're not going to see you as a soul. Um, <clears throat> Un unreachable anymore 
alright because you will now be open for different opinions now you are going to be open for in general new things to come in your life but just to say guys um, with our reading here is that uh, because you face a challenge that should not be a reason for you to back away from it this is all about that reading just because it's challenging to accept the enterprise from your partner or to embark a project in your job uh, the, the challenge is there to make you uh, much more a better person moving on forward into the future because when you overcome a challenge you add a, an asset to your arsenal of skills or knowledge your personal arsenal or of skills or knowledge and this is what the we is all about to add something to your arsenal of means necessary in order to make yourself much more capable and in general better person moving on forward into the future just one thing I want to say here with the with the king of swords is that you need to be much more logical than emotional during that particular week and when you are about to make a decision you always need to um, think about it very carefully and do that decision based on your analytic thought, thoughts rather than upon your exaggerated emotions. That being said guys, this was your weekly tarot reading Sagittarius for June 25th to July 1st 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rat signing out now, see you next time. Bye!